Hi, I'm Sean Walker, an instructor at Casey Trees, and we're here today to continue our discussion about pruning. There are two basic cuts that you'll be making when you're pruning a tree. The first one is a reduction cut, where you're reducing the length of a limb down to another lateral branch. Right here we have a very small limb, and our objective is to remove this lateral limb just down to a certain point. We're not going to take the whole thing off. We're just going to reduce it down to this lateral branch or twig right here. So I, if I wanted to, I could take off some of the weight, which is often a good practice, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. And then that kind of clears things up for me to go in and make my final cut. Something about like that, about a 45 degree angle along the twig. And that's a reduction cut. So what we've done is we've taken off the, the length of that lateral branch and now the energy of the tree is going to go into this, this lateral that you've cut down to. The second cut you're going to make is the uh, removal of an entire lateral branch. So we're going to focus on the same, same branch here. Now our objective is to remove the entire thing from the main trunk of the tree. So you have a main stem going vertically and you have this lateral branch coming out, in this case to my left, and we're going to take this entire thing off. And so that's a, actually a different kind of cut. So I've cleared the way a little bit and I see that the size of this limb is probably a little bit too big for my hand pruners, so I'm going to shift over to a saw. And once again, this is a fairly small limb, but still there might be some, some weight towards the outside, so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of some of that weight. So now I can just focus on my final cut. We were looking at different things for the reduction cut, but in this case, when you're removing a lateral branch from a trunk in particular, what you want to look for is what's called, what's called the, the branch collar. You can see in this instance on this willow oak, there's kind of a swollen section of wood that kind of holds that branch in place there. You want to focus on that and make sure that you do not cut into that when you make your final cut. You want to get as close as you can to that branch collar without cutting into it. That's a zone uh, within the tree where it will react favorably to your cut as long as you don't cut into the branch collar. So here we go. And with, with this willow oak in particular, you can see that the branch goes almost straight out. So I'm going to make a cut that's pretty much just straight in line with, with the branch collar there. But remember, not cutting into it. So right about like this. And then once again, this is a pole saw, so I'm going to do my cuts on the pole. Right there. Nice clean cut. Did not get into the branch collar. And then you're good to go.